Hello guys, this is Rich. In this video I'll show you how to make a funk type beat or funk soundtrack in Ableton Lab. So we'll start right away with a tempo. We'll set it to 180. It's quite quick and we're gonna make a quick and hard funk track. Then uh, turn on the metronome and I'll use my funk drum kit. You can find it uh, in the description there will be a link and the first thing we'll start with the main melody so you know I'm sure you're familiar with the main funk sound is a cowbell I have four of them here let's try this one then we'll put a scale uh, a media effect so everything we play on this channel is gonna be in scale and for funk type beats I use uh, Hirajoshi of course because it sounds quite dark and it's very suitable for this genre so Hirajoshi in C it's quite good and in this video I'll record it I mean I'll draw it right in the piano roll pattern because I'm not sure I can play this fast on this tempo because you can like listen to it it's quite quick so I'll try to make some uh, nice pattern um, at least something interesting so this is our root key and I'll try to draw something good and interesting. Alright, so here is the pattern I made. It sounds like this. So it's simple, but it's like 32 bars and I think it will be enough for now so the next thing we're gonna add some effect on this I'll put RC20 our favorite that's good then we'll put the a rate 808 it locates right here in this folder let's try this one it's quite an interesting one so we also need to copy this MIDI scale on this channel so here the main key is C and it goes from the start and on each bar okay I mean not on each on every second right all right so it's c then it's g we can actually make pattern right here here it goes G in the end of 4 and we'll do it this way and we'll do the same thing I guess yeah that should be good We'll just cut this one. It's okay for now. Uh, then let's drive in drum rack. So yeah, the 808 is quite simple, but uh, it's good for now. We'll 
work on it later. So drum rack. Here we have kicks. I like this one, it's quite hard. Remove the snap. Make it louder. Create pattern. So you can see that it's clipping right here. And for this genre of music, it might be okay because you know how funk sounds like. Some funk is more underground, some funk is more like atmospheric, you know. But if you make this clipping, it might sound actually good because, you know, it's funk, it's re very catchy and groovy, so it might work out. Let's see how it goes. Okay, and then I'll put uh, our snare right away. This one is good. Let's try this one. Snap, remove it. Make more of a fade out. And then... Okay, it's good enough for now. So you can hear it already sounds funky and it's good, it's good. Then uh, we'll work on hi-hats. So we have, we also have a hi-hat folder. This one is good, isn't it? And also here in the folder I have a hi-hat starter. It's like really good. For this type of beat, I use it always because it's like really good for the start. You can hear how velocity uh, is set up already, and you can also start using it right away and just modify the way you like it. Maybe uh, you would like this kind of roll here, so you can do it right away. But you have initial pattern here, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Already groovy. Let's add another one. Okay, and this one we'll use. as a background actually I want less of them all right uh, you can see my idea about it also, let's duplicate that and populate it with more percussion. We have this crash, which is good. We can also add our effects on it. Here I have my own preset with only reverb. You can do it quite easy. 
uh, in this VST, you just create a blank uh, pattern uh, preset, put the effect you want, and just click save. It's that easy. And then you have right away your effect for only reverb and Alrighty, then more percussion. This is quite good for funk. That's why I have it in this folder. We might need that, but put it on a gate. I have an idea. Let's check it out. It seems interesting, but let's put it later and then a chime. It's already with effect on. Actually, I don't really like this one. It's too weird, but maybe we can transport it on two keys lower. It like adds some extra background sound, which makes this, makes this track more interesting. So we we'll leave it for now. Also, we have this percussion, and we'll put it in the end, maybe here instead of this chime. Yeah, it's good. Why not? Why not? Then I, I have this interesting folder with drum loops. Like, uh, I don't like using drum loops, loops for creating uh, tracks because, you know, I like to create drum uh, drums on my own. But in this case, I use drum loops for like uh, a background sound, more like lofty sound, you know. So you can add it, it's like, uh, not like drum loops, it's like percussion, background percussion, which uh, sounds good in this case. You can check it out. In Ableton Live, it's really easy uh, to add such things here, because, you know, in Ableton, it's quite easy to, to work with uh, samples. <laughs> Yep, and you can also add uh, those things for uh, breakdowns. You can like edit here and then uh, make uh, some insert your track playing uh, without this one. And then you... You know what I mean. It's like interesting breakdown. You can make it easily. And we'll, we'll try to do this too in this track in the end. So we have the main part of this track. It sounds like this. All right, then we'll add uh, a cappella. 
I have some here, but I'm not sure how clear are they in the way of copyright. So if you make tracks for yourself or for SoundCloud, it's okay to use um, all of these. But if you're gonna um, upload it on Spotify and other platforms like this one, where you get paid, uh, consider checking out is it okay for you to use them or not. So let's see what we have here. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Okay, and the first thing I wanna check out it without any low frequencies. It's a very good technique to use in this genre. Just remove low frequencies just around here. Also, let's put this effect, retro color, maybe even with noise. You know, we have more of them, we can check out others. Check this out. I think this one is quite good. We'll leave this here and put this one as a main. So I think we have enough for laying out. We can add some effects later. So now let's select everything and drag it in this section. So we need to make a nice intro. Okay, then I want to try this technique. You drag a sample of Eduard. Here, you make it reversed. Let's see how that sounds. You see, it's interesting, it's good. You know what I mean? All right, so what is this sound? Okay, this is our drum loop. Yes, it is. We'll put it later. This one. Yeah, it's our uh, breakdown. We can put it here actually and remove everything from here and then put everything in again but here just make a nice interesting layout
Okay, I'm trying to find some shot, maybe this one. Okay, that's good. We can try to add some not after pen auto filter here. Put in is in this mode. Okay, and here I want to make a bit different pattern. All right. Then we have this F sharp key. Let's just copy here. Select everything. F sharp. And let's try to copy without this sample for now. In the end is just F. Okay, let's put a soft clipper. This glue compressor for now, but fifty percent. Just the editing this pattern a bit, so making it interesting during the whole track because you can hear how repetitive it is.
Okay, it's go going good so far. But we have a way to go. Because y you can see the track is only one minute and something. Too many of them, of those sounds. So we'll just leave. Okay, I guess like this. So now we need to think about another part. Maybe not so hard. Maybe we'll add just, I don't know, different sample. Let's try. Remove kicks for now, but put the crash. And here I want to add, add interesting uh, snare roll. So let's try to work on it. Okay, it's good. Okay, it's good, it's good. It's interesting, like a breakdown, you know. So the next thing we're gonna add, should we can add this one here? Yep. Okay, what's next, what's next, what's next? Our call bells, we'll see how it goes with them here. Okay, we can actually stop the sample. And take this one. Take this one and take this button. Actually, it's like the transition is too sharp. Uh, we can add them here, but for now... Maybe we'll do it like this. Yeah. Let's see. And just simply we can copy Yep, this one.
Okay, and then I want to show you uh, another interesting technique we can try here. So this one is playing like this. We can copy uh, this one again. Go to the master channel and then add on it half time. And it will be, it will sound like this. It's like quite good for outro in my opinion. It can also fit in the intro but we'll leave it like this for now. So this is how it sounds. Okay, we need to make a... Actually... Automatization. Here's our end. We will render till here. So okay, let's see what we can do on master and on other channels. Uh, we can also, you know, as I like to do, add a saturator here instead of glue compressor with a soft clip on. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Okay, it sounds good. Then let's remove excessive frequencies from uh, other sounds. And you can see excessive low frequency here. We remove it just to make other frequencies clearer, like airweight. So let's go to drum rack and copy this one. It'll be handy. Kick, don't touch the kick. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. Okay. How many low frequencies are there? Okay, this one in the end. This one is good, actually. These two. Okay, this one is good, hi-hat. Okay, you can see some low frequencies here, but there should be none. And here, here too. Okay. Here is good. This one. Actually, this one, we can, we can leave it as it is because it play uh, alone, you know. Where is that? Oh no, actually it's playing during... Yes, live like this. I mean this one. It's playing solo. So we can leave it like this. Then this one is okay. Alright, so we cleared it. We can also go to our Cobell, add glue compressor, with a side chain from the kick and put it for attack of one, it's good, release I think it's good too. Just gain it. Yeah. Okay, and also add it on air, air weight. All right. Level it a little bit. All right.
that I think is good and we got the whole track and like you can see the layout is uh, uh, not for the type beat because if you want to make a rap track on that you'll need a hook, you'll need a uh, verse, you need... Uh, you got it. And this one is like more random for a casual uh, listening so yeah you can make it for like uh, how many are there 12 bars for verse and 8 for chorus yeah like this and just make this part different and then go with the intro out I mean outro and intro and you'll have a type beat but this one is more like a soundtrack and in the end I'll show you uh, my export settings so this how I export with those settings and it will be good and uh, for this video I think that's all thank you a lot for the watching and I'll see you in the next video